Jella too. And our host, Vincent Van Gogh. And he brings it to you. Deck the halls with boughs of holly, fa la 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 Wait, Christmas was yesterday. Why in God's name are we doing a Christmas episode on the bloody 26th? Because Christmas fell on a Friday this year and you insisted upon running that awful Haunts of the Rich movie the weekend prior. That I did. Because that film was wonderful and had Christmas-like aspects to it and... Oh, never mind. Ah! Welcome to the day after Christmas special episode of Creepy Bitches. I am your most merry host, Vincent. The bloke who is casting the evil eye upon me is the major domo of the Polter Mansion, Mr. Livingston, and the lovely and dainty young lass pummeling Santa Claus with a cast iron skillet would be my adorable housemate, Tangella. Why would she be flogging Father Christmas? Because just as she was about to sit on his lap, she detected Andrew's discount aftershave and became somewhat rather infuriated about the apparent deception. Poor lad. Be sure to put some extra cash in his stocking this year. Onward. Joining us for our post Yule Tide festivities this year will be the wonderful Tabitha Thomas. She's an airline stewardess, a psychic, a certified cosmetologist, and she is one of those unique few who have previously lived in this very manner, vacated, and survived to tell the tale. She'll tell us about her new life as a jet setter and offer us a glimmer of insight into the ghostly phantoms that walk our very halls. She'll also chime in about tonight's film, which is the incredibly frightening Babes in Toyland from 1934, starring Laurel and Hardy. And I've never seen this film, but I can gather that the phrase starring Laurel and Hardy means this isn't a very frightening film. What's going on, Tom? Well, it's not scary, but it's the last film of the year, and you ran out of movie money last week. My sincerest apologies. I promise we'll do better next week. But in the meantime, consider the upside. Should you be watching with young, impressionable children tonight, you needn't worry about them awakening at some ungodly hour complaining about nightmares and other such nonsense. And don't go away, for it is to be another night of terror-free fright right here on Creature Features. Stay tuned. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Welcome to Creature Features. You know, I need to come up with a song. That goes, welcome to Creature Features, welcome to Creature... Something like that? No. Someday. I don't think so. We'll see. Tabitha's with us. So, in case you don't know, Tabitha used to live in this very manor with us. She knew Tangela long before I did, and we're going to find out all about that. And she's visiting us from Miami. Yes. The beautiful I, Miami. I love Miami. Have I'm you been there? I've been there twice. But never when I lived there. No, well, you never invited me. Hmm. So anyway, and you brought a snake, which is not even a real yes. snake. Why didn't you it bring is a real, a real snake. Uh, yes. No, it looks like one of Tangelo's rubber snakes. Anyways, Miss Tabitha Thomas is with us tonight. She's going to tell us about uh, what she's been up to since she left the mansion, which has been, what, four years now, five years? Seven years. Seven years. No, I think it's closer to five, but you've been a flight attendant. 
Yes, I have. That's wonderful. So she flies in planes. She's going to tell stories about that and even a ghost story about planes, right? Yes. Oh, this is going to be wonderful. And uh, we're going to watch Babes in Toyland. Have you seen this film? Of course. I grew up on that film. And uh, you like old black and white films? It's not black and white. It's colored. Well, maybe in the beginning it was, but then it became colored when Keanu Reeves showed up. No, Keanu Reeves is not in this. It's Laurel and Hardy. <laughs> I think I would know. I was raised on this film. Now, are you, and you described Wizard of Oz with the black and white no, no, switching no. the color? No, Babes in Toyland. I know. No, it says right on my sign, 1934. What sign? Keanu Reeves. I don't even think Keanu Reeves' father was born in 1934. What are you talking about? No, it must be a different film. All right, so we're going to start this film, and when we come back, we're going to talk about uh, Miss Tabitha and what she's been up to late. So you guys stay with us. Don't go away.
your sheep. And don't go losing them again. I won't. <laughs> come on, Daisy. Come on, Shirley. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Daisy. Come on, Come on. How do you do, my dear Mrs. P? How do you do, Mr. Barnaby? And how is your charming daughter, Miss Bo P? Very well, thank you. Then, may I be permitted to pay my respects? Sorry. But she's out tending her sheep. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, my pretty little butterfly. Good morning, Mr. Barney. I bring you a little bouquet, a fragrant token of my deep devotion. Thank you very much, Mr. Barnum. And now I'll have to leave you, sir. My, my sheep are... Oh, nay. I have long admired you, gazed with wonder on your sweet and maidenly virtue, marveled at your tender loveliness. In short, I'm asking you to become my wife. I... I'm sorry, Mr. Barnaby, and I hope you won't think me ungrateful, but... I'm a very rich man, my dear. Please. Think carefully, child, lest I resort to other means. That would be an ugly way to win a pretty wife. I would marry you if you were young, which you can't be. If you were honest, which you never were. And if you were about to die tomorrow, which is too much to hope for. We shall meet again, my pretty little buttercup. 
And then you'll sing to a different tune. Fleecy! Curly! I came back to remind you that your little financial obligation... You mean the mortgage? ...is due today. Couldn't you give me just a little more time? I'm sorry. The law must take its course. I shall be back shortly. <laughs> Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are watching... Babes in Toyland with the babe Tabitha Thomas. You're kind of a babe. Kind of. No, well, you've got that red hair that gives you that whole... Totally and you, a babe. And you came dressed as a princess tonight. You know, she's a... She's a she's a, a, a flight attendant, stewardess, right? Flight attendant. A flight That's attendant. That's the more appropriate way nowadays. Right, right. And no, she flew from Miami to come see us tonight. She used to live here. And so, uh, you know, we should we should show that clip. We have a, the clip of you doing the seance. Yes. Let's do that. All right. We're going to show a clip. And so you can see Tabitha. She's an old friend of Tangela's and Tamara, which you know, we won't talk about Tamara. But uh, let's show a clip of Tabitha doing a seance. Spirits of love and tenderness, we gather here tonight to communicate with those who walk in this house in torment. Help us bridge the chasm of death and faith, where pain is transformed into joy, sorrow into peace. an evil house, a place of sickness, evil. Would thine eye offend thee? Yes. Yes. There's a young man. Must speak. Must speak. I don't know you people. Why are you here? Does no good. Nothing changes. Nothing. Get out or I'll hurt you. I can't help myself. Damn you, you 
filthy sons of paupers. Damn you! I don't want to hurt you, but I must. I must. Get out of this house before I kill you all! Well, that was fun. You know, do you still do seances? I do. Funny story. All right. Okay. So, I was in Miami. So, the people in Miami are a little superstitious, you see. I was doing my seance, and of course, you know, before my seance, I have to order a pizza, as right. per usual, because right. I get a little bit hungry. Right. I must have had a little pizza stuck in my throat, because I choked a little bit on the pizza, and... I must have died for like three seconds because mm. I was in the afterlife. You've been dead. I, I died. For three minutes. For three minutes, which is like a decade in the afterlife. My goodness. So w w what's <sighs> on the other side? Basically like all of the, my favorite dead people. One would hope. Well, that is exactly what well, happened. Well, so there's none of your unfavorite dead people? Like, did you see Hitler or anyone no. like this? No. <laughs> Well, you know what it is? It's because you've been a flight attendant all these years. No, it's because I'm like the queen of seances. So all the dead people love me because I like have a connection with them. Did they present you with a trophy? How would you know this? Because I talked to them. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah. All right, well, I'm getting the signal. We gotta get back to this film. When we get back, we're gonna talk some more about your psychic abilities and maybe you'll give it a, a, a demonstration of some kind, right? Maybe. Maybe. All right. Off we go. Back to Babes in Toyland. Stay with us. Come, boys. You'll be late for work. We're coming. Good morning, Mother Pete. Uh, good morning, Ollie. <laughs> when you come on, it's almost 8 o'clock. you upstairs in the bedroom. You did. Well, how'd you get down here? I fell out the window. Good morning, Mother Peek. Good morning, Stanny. Good morning, Ollie. Good morning, Stan. Never mind, good morning. Come on and let's go. Wait a minute. I forgot something. I'll be right down. Will you come on? Do you want us to be late for work? Don't forget your lunch, Ollie. Well, what's the matter, Mother Peek? Why, I've got bad news for you. Bad news? I'm afraid you two boys will have to find some other place to live. Well, what do you mean? That old skinflint Barnaby holds a mortgage against this shoe. It's due today and I haven't got the money to pay him. And we'll all be turned out into the street. Stanley, go upstairs and get my money box. Eh? Go get my money box. Well, what are you going to do? I'm going to give you all of my savings, and I'll get the rest of it from our master, the toy maker. No one's going to throw you out of this shoe. Oh, I can't let you do such a thing. Tut, 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 tarut. One good turn deserves another. Now smile. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. <laughs> I borrowed it. I know you borrowed it. But what did you borrow it for? Well, you see, I had to buy some more peewees. I lost three of them playing with little Jack Horner. Had to Any... buy some more peewees. 
<clears throat> well, don't you mind, Mother Pete. I'll get the full amount from the toy maker. Oh, you boys mustn't go into debt on my account. Listen, when the toy maker finds out that Barnaby's up to his old tricks again, he'll give me the full amount without any trouble. Oh, can I depend on that? Why, of course you can. Why, you know the toy maker and I are just like that. Aren't we standing? Are you? Why, certainly. Which is you? Why, this one right... Never mind which is you. Come on, let's go. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> don't forget your lunch. Goodbye. And Goodbye. don't you worry. No, I Goodbye. won't. Goodbye. I won't. Goodbye, boys. Just a moment. What is this peewee business you've been spending all of my money on? Would you like to see it? Well, certainly I'd like to see it. After all the money it's cost me, I think I'm entitled to know what it's all about. All right, look. What do you think of that? Piffle. That's the silliest thing I have ever seen. Try it. I don't want to try it. Why, can't you do it? Well, certainly I can't. What do you mean, can I do it? Give me that stick. Get over there. It's a certainty that anything you can do, I can do. Uh-uh. What, for instance? Come on, we'll be late for work. Say, listen, well, when you get that money from the toy maker, will you borrow a little extra for me? What for? Well, I lost me peewee and I'll have to get some more. Get in, Peter, now we're peewee. happens again, it means instant dismissal. Get to work. <clears throat> Say, aren't you going to ask him about the money to pay off the mortgage? I can't ask him now. Don't you see what a bad humor he's in? Well, if we don't get that money, Mother Peep's going to be turned out of the shoe and she won't have any place to sleep. We can't let her do that. Why, if I ask him now, he'd jump right down my throat. Well, I thought you and he were just like that. We are. Well, why don't you ask him? Why don't you ask him? Well, I can't ask him. Why? Well, he and I are just like that. Oh, don't be silly. He likes you better than he does me. Does he? Yeah. He told me he did. Did he? Yeah. Oh, Master! What? Ollie wants to speak to you. Well, what is it? Well, could I speak to you privately, please, sir? 
I've got a very important question I want to ask you. Don't bother me now. Can't you see that I'm busy? Go on with your work. Well, if you knew how important it was, you'd see me privately, because if you... Shut up and go on with your work! Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to the show. Miss Tabitha had to step away. You know, I think she's going to go on a ghost hunt. I could be wrong. I don't know. But we're going to get back to Babes in Toyland soon. You know, I'm, I'm rather beginning to like this film. It's not as bad as I predicted. I thought you might. You're so mean to me. Anyways, we've got to do letters because we, we have to do them, right? We do. We do. Off we go. Let's do some letters. Give me a letter. Sir, please. Thank you. How are you, Miss Tangella? You know, I like what she's done with it. Oh, yes. We will do the gift. Don't worry. No, I'll bring them out. She made a gift for Andrew. You can imagine what that's going to be. All right. First letter is from Tim from Carmel by the Sea, California. You know, I like this place. It's it quite tells lovely. You, no, it tells you where it is. It's not Carmel by the Volcano. It's Carmel by the Sea. Oh. It's a big difference. I also like Carmel by the Volcano, too, but it's hot there. All right, here we go. Dear Creature Features, this is probably one of the many letters or emails you'll receive concerning that mysterious brunette woman in the blue dress visiting during the Halloween show. She's hiding behind the tree tonight. I personally think that she was the ghost of that lady whose painting hangs in your mansion. You don't say. I think we've got that one figured out, do we not? How do I know? Note how Tangella didn't throw candy at her. I've always felt Tangella was the most sensitive and aware of you three. She knew that if she tossed a confection at the brunette guest, it would merely go through her spooky clothing. Therefore, I would consult with Tangella about the dubious inhabitants of your mansion. She knows. Well, you know, I think we've got this thing figured out. On Halloween, she can leave the painting for long periods of time, but the rest of the year, she can only jump out for a moment. And she didn't figure that out. We all did. Although she is rather sensitive, but sensitive to insults about her hair, not so much about ghosts. He is the sensitive one. He cries during sad films. It's true. Or he has an eye infection, one of the two. Anyways, thanks for writing, Tim, and we hope everything's nice at Carmel by the sea. Say hi to Clint Eastwood for us. You know, he owns, he owns a restaurant down there. What in God's name is this? This is from The Invisible Man. All right, next up. This one is from Tony Walsh in Chandler, Arizona. I like Chandler. We, you know, we're on a TV station in Chandler. Yes, indeed. No, it's a good station. It's a good town. Lots of heat. They have that high mountain. I forget what it's called. I've, I've been to the top of this mountain. It's a nice view. You can see Phoenix from up there. You, you, nothing impresses this man. I'm not going to speak to you anymore. You just, he's glum tonight. All right. Tony goes, Dear Creature Features, I watch your show every week on TV over Roku. You know, we have a Roku channel. Every single Saturday night since August 18th, 2018. He's dedicated. Have not missed even one episode since that date. I don't watch it because I like it. I watch it because my wife likes it and she makes me watch it. 
I don't like your show, but she gives me little choice. Frankly, I think it's the goofiest program I've ever seen, and I have no idea why any station would carry it. Well, this is going south, is it not? Indeed. I would rather be out in my garage working on my 65 Mustang project car, but she insists this is all family time, and I have no say in the matter. The reason I am writing to you is to make a request. Please either skip an episode or show a rerun the weekend after Christmas this year. My car should be done by then, and I hope to unveil it in our town's annual Winter Hot Rod and Cruise that Saturday. If you broadcast a new episode, I won't be able to go. Thank you for your consideration, Tony Walsh, Chandler, Arizona. This is the weekend he's talking about, is it not? I believe so. I think you're out of luck, Tony. Too bad. And say hello to your wife for us. One more. One more. Is this the last one? Yes. All right. And this came in the post from Patrick Sala. But there's a P in the front. I imagine the P is silent. Yes. And he's from Gilroy. Gilroy. Garlic. Oh, Garlic it's, capital of the world. It is a handwritten letter. A very nice stationery. From Patrick. Garlic capital of the world. I knew that before you even told me. Not many vampires here pity. And he writes... Hey guys, Vincent Livingston and Tangela too. Been a fan of Creature Features since early Bob Wilkins, then John Stanley. Met them both. Bob at, I believe, a Phantasm movie gathering, and John at the California Pop Orchestra. I didn't know John was into orchestras. Well, I suppose if it's Pop Orchestra, that would make sense. Bought a few books of his. Hate to say it, and no disrespect meant, but your show has become too family-oriented. For kids, well, especially tonight with this film, eh? Time slot. I guess I got used to your immediate time slot predecessor, Creepy Coffee Movie, with the demon Borlock and his buddy No Name, allowing also with his entourage of scantily clad ladies. I know a bit campy and not for your youngsters, but it was fun. Oh, well. Sorry for being so winded. Still watch you guys. P.S. Need a character to scare the kitties a bit more in the background. Would also like to visit that old haunt of yours. Sincerely, Patrick, horror fan. Uh, you know, the Creepy Coffee movie gang, I, they're still showing on, uh, is it uh, Amazon.com? If you go to Amazon, you know, where you could watch free movies, you could still see the old reruns, but they don't make that show anymore. So, you know, there's not much we could say about that, right? Not much to say at all. And there's too many boobies on that show. They wouldn't let us run at 9 o'clock if we were showing boobies, right? You mean stupid people? No. You know, bosoms. Ah. Right. All right, so you've got a thing for Andrew. Andrew, we, we need you out here. Now, come on, wait. No, come on, come on. He doesn't want to come out because she injured him as Santa Claus. Come on, she's got a gift for you. Come on, let's see this gift. Look, it's like Christmas. Go on, take the gift. Look at how sweet she is. See, she's not as devilish as we've been led to believe. Well, come on, open it up. It's not a bomb. She would not blow up a bomb near me. I know this. You're too slow, Andrew. Oh, that's one. Hold it up for the camera. Hold it up for the camera. It's a cookie, a gingerbread cookie that says Andrew. There's no head. Ooh, that's all right. All right, go eat your cookie. Be gone. Off, off you go. Off you go. See, he got a headless cookie. It's kind of nice. All right, if you would like to send us a letter of your own by email, send it to the address you see appearing over by my shoe. Or if you'd like to send something in the post, like our friend from Gilroy, send it to the address you see here. We'll be right back with Miss Tabitha, but first let's get back to Babes in Toyland. What is the matter, little Bo Peep? I have been careless and lost my sheep. Say, have you seen them, Jack and Jill, during your journey up the hill? They're not on the hills of glory 
in the wood. Did you meet up with them, Red Riding Hood? Don't cry, Bo Peep, don't cry. To find your sheep, we'll try. We'll seek them far, we'll seek them wide. be found. You've lost them before, haven't you? As a matter of fact, last month you lost them five times. Oh, I couldn't have. Yes, you did. And four times the month before that. You see, you're getting worse. <laughs> what you need is someone to help you look after the darn things. Who, for instance? <laughs> oh, he'd have to be most unusual, energetic, resourceful, and with any amount of patience. A fellow sort of, uh, well, like me. <laughs> Not interested? Not even a little bit? <laughs> then I'll just keep you there until you are interested.
Nice. Interested? of Toyland, I want you all to meet the future Mrs. Piper. soldiers at one foot high. What? You took that order. What was it? I thought you said 100 soldiers at six foot high. <laughs> you got the order all wrong. I couldn't give those things to my children to play with. Put it back in the box and get out of here. You're through. Here's another mess. Your partner sent you right into a tent of the thing in the right way in the first place. Well, I couldn't. Well, if it. you'd have been watching what you were doing, you wouldn't well, have gotten this into it. The Come out of there, not you. It's for him. Trouble is you Hey, will you put that thing back in the box, sir? Get out of here. Just hey. gonna get it right back right now. Oh, God, the guy. Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Stop it! Oh! 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 Oh!
didn't you stop it, you blithering idiots? Now get out and stay out. Yes, sir. Aren't you going to ask him about the money for the mortgage? What's that? Uh, just skip it. This is a fine time to ask for money. Uh, Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Welcome back to Creature Features. We are still watching Babes in Toyland with Laurel and Hardy, as you notice. Keanu Reeves. With Tabitha Thomas. And she, if you're just joining us, is an amazing person who used to live in this very house with us. She's Tangela's, one of Tangela's oldest friends, right? Yes. You've known Tangela since, uh, I don't know, like the Nixon administration, right? I would say so. Yes. No, I don't think so. I don't think either of you are old enough to remember the Nixon administration. But uh, so uh, she's a vegetarian. Are you a vegetarian like her? <gasps> no. Oh, God, no. Why? You like meat? No. I can't eat any of that. So what's, what's, what's wrong with being a vegetarian? I thought I told you. No. Oh. Oh, you don't know? No. Tell me. Enlighten us. Oh, well, you see, what happened was I did a seance on a tomato. A tomato? No, a tomato. You see, a spirit went into the tomato. It was a haunted tomato? Yes, and it haunted this family terribly for years, and it would never leave. Well, perhaps if you would have called it a tomato, it would have been fine. It's not a tomato. What are you saying? It's a tomato. A haunted tomato? Yes. So I'll never eat vegetables or meat again because they have living things in them. So what do you eat? Oh, well, shelf-stable items. <laughs> Duh. Like things that come in boxes and cans and things? Yeah, like? because those will never have a life in them. Well, they did at one time like your tomato did. No, because it's all sucked into a can. No living thing wants to go into a can. <laughs> well, it so what are we going to do if we want to take you out to dinner after the show? Well, I always have my purse full of canned items. Oh, all right. I bring it everywhere. Well, I suppose we could go by like the grocery store and have you pick some things. Yeah, or okay. that. Everyone yeah. always has an old rusty can of soup somewhere. Soup, but not tomato soup. No, God, no. Gosh, I'm, I'm oh. forever Tabitha. scarred and from tomato. Oh. Tomato, do not go along. All right, no Italian restaurants for you. No. But uh, I think, well... Maybe we should get back to this film? Yes. All right, off we go. Back to Babes in Toyland. Don't go away. Oh, Nazi, I'm so happy. Tom Tom is asking me to become his bride. My child. And with your permission, we'd like to be married. Why, of course, darling. My blessings are with you. And may nothing ever happen to mar your happiness. Oh, Mumsy, you're an angel. <laughs> Mr. Barnaby? When you enter my house, I'll trouble you to knock. Your house, I conclude. Did you say your house? Yes, my. Not until this little debt is fulfilled. Why, Mother, what does this mean? It means, my dear, that unless this mortgage is paid, you will all be thrown out into the street. Of course. <laughs> we could compromise. Compromise? Yes. Should your daughter reconsider my generous offer to become my wife, we could forget this little matter, and it could be her wedding present. Mousy. Don't worry, darling. Nothing like that will ever happen. 
Then let us get down to business. Mr. Barnaby, you can make out your receipt. You'll be paid in full right now. Oh, here you are, boys. Just in time. This wretched man seems to think that we haven't got the money to pay off the mortgage. But we have, haven't we? <laughs> haven't we, boys? Well, what's the matter? Didn't you get the money? No, you see, Ollie made a mistake. A mistake? He and the toy maker are not like that, are you? Oh. Then I take it, madam. You cannot meet your lawful obligation. In which case, I shall bid you good day. Foreclosure papers will be served in due course. Oh, you're not really going to throw us into the street? Much as it pains me. I'm sorry. No! Oh, 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 no! Oh, oh, no! Oh, 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 oh. no! Big bait catches big rat. Oh, oh Mommy, what shall I do? What oh. shall I do? If only he didn't have that mortgage. Don't you worry, Mother Peep. Stanny and me will find a way to get the mortgage from that old buzzard. He sure is an old buzzard. Yeah. You know, if he thinks he's going to throw this shoe into the street, he's going to be mistaken. He certainly is. You know what I'd like to do? What? I'd like to put on this shoe and kick him right in the pants. <clears throat> then I'd give... <clears throat> what happened? Barnaby clunked you. Open that window. Outside. Good. Now what can we do? Take me over to Barnaby's house and be sure no one sees you. Okay. And be careful. We just came across the street. Ring the bell. It wasn't so far. <clears throat> Who is it? It's me. What do you want at this hour of the night? Well, you see, Ollie and I are sorry for what happened this afternoon. And just to show you we're not mad at you, we brought you a little Christmas present. It's from me and from Ollie. Christmas present in the middle of July? Oh, oh, yes, you see, we always do our Christmas shopping early. If you'll open the door, I'll bring it right in for you. I'll be right down. He's 
coming down is going to let us in. That's fine. Now, don't forget, when he goes to bed, you give me the signal. Then I'll get out of the box, open the door, and let you in. <laughs> then we'll get the mortgage. So far, so good. What is it? Oh, I couldn't tell you. Couldn't tell me? No, you see, it's a surprise. And it mustn't be opened till Christmas. See? Do not open until Christmas. Well, that's very nice of you. It is, isn't it? Well, good night, Mr. Barnaby. Good night, Mr. Dunn. <laughs> you can go to bed now. Thank you. Mr. Dunn. Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas to you. Good night. Good night. Good night, Ollie. Good night, Stanny. Hello there, my name is Brian. I'm calling from Santa Rosa. I always love your show. And um, if you could possibly play Carnival of the Souls sometime soon. It's a very fine film. Thank you so much. Bye. Portions of Creature Features are brought to you by The Winchester Mystery House in San Jose, California. Explore the mystery at winchestermysteryhouse.com. Merry day after Christmas. We are still celebrating Christmas by watching Babes in Toyland with Tabitha Thomas, our old roommate, our old housemates. And uh, quickly on this film, that was a bit of an era where he was supposed to make 600 one-foot soldiers and he placed the order for 106 foot soldiers. Where do you put 106 foot soldiers, wooden soldiers? I make mistakes like that all the time. Oh. It's like a little and word mix-up. Just a word mix-up? Are you dyslexic? No. Oh. Just sometimes my brain kind of like... You know, I used to think I was dyslexic, and I found out I was only dyslexic. Yeah. True story. All right. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Tabitha is also a psychic and a medium, besides being a flight attendant. Yes. The flying psychic. And... Uh, you know, she used to do seances here. We showed a clip before, and she used to convene with the ghosts in the manor, right? Quite frequently, So, unfortunately. Wh what kind of things did you learn while you were here about our ghosts? Well, there was this teenage boy. He was all talk, no action, of course, like most teenage boys. Are. So he was a, a poltergeist, or in our case, a poltergeist, right? Um, yeah, he would never really do anything. He was so boring. Gosh. So we've also had other reports from some of the chambermaids that there's an old woman that floats up and down the stairs. I don't know about her. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. What about this one? Oh, Sarah? Yes. Oh, she's not a ghost. What do you mean she's not a ghost? Well, 
She's definitely not a ghost. Well, she pops in and out of the painting like a ghost, and she's certainly not anybody who lives today. No, a, a witch put her in there. A witch? A witch. Which witch? Her sister witch. Her sister was a witch? Yes, her jealous sister, the witch, put her in that painting. Oh, so she's not dead? No. She's not oh. there anymore, though. <laughs> God, she, no. I can see her. <laughs> no, she. I couldn't sleep last night, so I took her out. I fixed it. What do you mean you took it out? I fixed it. How did you fix it? Well, you see, on one of my flights to Haiti, one of the witch doctors taught me how to fix ghost problems, so. So you uncursed a cursed person? I, I uncursed her, yes. You're welcome, by the way. I never got a thank you for it. This is intriguing. You know, I, these psychic things, we should start a new show called Psychic things with Tabitha. You know what? Bravo contacted me about it. Oh, Bravo. No, Bravo, the, the television. Oh, they want you to be on Bravo. Yes, because they've heard of so many of my psychic abilities. So that's, that's, that's wonderful. However, you know, I, I don't know about Bravo. They have the silliest programs on that show. Well, I'm a silly person. <laughs> oh, no, you're a wonderful person. And she's a <laughs> flight attendant. So, so which airlines might we see you on? If you American. Were American Airlines. Yes. That's wonderful. All right. All right. Let's get back to the film. And when we come back, we're going to find out what you're doing next, right? Of course. All right. Off we go, babes in Toyland. Don't you dare go away. It's going to be fun. Bye. Whereas Ali D and Stanny Dumb have been found guilty of burglary, they will be ducked and thereafter exiled to Bogeyland forever. Oh. Good night, Ollie. Your Majesty, what are we waiting for? Oh, oh yes. Proceed with the ducking. <laughs> Come on. Look first. Come on. Ollie. What? Here. You better give me a watch. I'll hold it for you till you come out. Thanks. Now take good care of it because I wouldn't have anything happen to that for the world. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Come on. All right. Splendid. <laughs> Mr. Barnabas, can't 
something be done to stop this? Why, yes. Consent to become my wife. And they will go free. All right, Mr. Barnaby. I consent. With your majesty's permission, I wish to withdraw my charge. Withdrawn they shall be. <laughs> Friends of Toyland, I want you all to meet the future Mrs. Silas Barnaby. You may go. Thank you, sir. Does that mean we're free? Yes. And from now on, you and I are going to be very close friends. Does that mean that he doesn't have to be dunked? Yes. Isn't that nice? What? He and I are just like that. And I don't have to get wet. Oh, is that so? <laughs> Ollie. What? Here's your watch. <laughs> Run over and tell the bride that all is in readiness and her lover is waiting. Mumsy, what did Tom Tom say? He understands. Now, you see, if you hadn't said good night, Ollie, this wouldn't have happened. Where are you going, Mother Peep? I'm going over to Barnaby's to make a final plea. Surely there must be one spark of kindness in that stony old heart of his. That's a good idea. But I don't think it'll do any good. You're right, Ollie. You can't turn blood into a stone. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Well, her talking to Barnaby is just a matter of pouring one ear into another and coming out the other side. It can't be done. I'm sorry, Bo Peep, that you had to choose me for the best man. Why, I'd rather do anything in this world than to have to give you away. Well, Stan is so upset, he's not even going to the wedding. You are upset, aren't you? Upset? I'm housebroken. Not housebroken. He means heartbroken. Housebroken. Uh. Come in. Mr. Barnaby, don't force my daughter into this dreadful marriage. I'm an old woman pleading for her daughter's happiness. Oh, don't do this dreadful thing. Mr. Barnaby, I'll do anything you ask. Work for you, slave for you. Only don't. Please, don't. Woman, you're a fool. The bargain's made, and you'll abide by it. Master, the bride is here. Welcome to Barnaby Hall. Shut that door. <laughs> come, come, Judge. It, let's waste no time. Have you the ring? Your name is Silas Barnaby? It is. And your name is Little Bo Peep? It is. Do you take this woman for your lawfully wedded wife? I do. And do you take this man for your lawfully wedded husband? I do. I now pronounce you man and wife. And now, to kiss the bride. Just a moment. Haven't you forgotten something, Mr. Barnaby? Oh, yes. The Lord. <laughs> My wedding.
now you may kiss the bride. Catches big rat. <laughs> the king shall hear of this. was a good idea of yours. It certainly was. <laughs> well, goodbye and good luck. What do you mean, goodbye? I'm not going with you. Why, no. You have to stay here with Barnaby. You're married to him. I don't want to stay here with him. Why? I don't love him. Guests of the show stay at Hotel E on Courthouse Square in Santa Rosa. Portions of this program are brought to you by Micromat, making products that keep your Macintosh running at its best. Alfred Nobel would be quite proud of you. Tricked, cheated, laughed at in the streets. Fools. So they think they can outwit old Barnaby, eh? <laughs> I 
I'll show them. There must be a way. There must be some way. a nice red juicy apple. I'll steal one of the three little pigs and the evidence will be placed in Tom Tom's house. You know the penalty for pig napping? Banishment to bogey land. <laughs> evidence and place it in Tom Tom's house. <laughs> Master, why the sausage? That will prove that he not only stole the pig, but that he also ground him into sausage. And now, little Elva, <laughs> we shall see. Sure glad we didn't have to go to Bogey Land. So am I. What happens to you in Bogey Land? Oh, it's a terrible place. Once you go there, you never come back. Why? Well, when the Bogey Man gets you, they eat you alive. What do they look like? Well, I've heard that they're half man and half animal. With great big ears. And a great big mouth and hair all over their body. And long claws that they catch you with. Scat! Go! Scat! Tom, my boy, you knew the penalty for pig napping. Why did you do it? But I didn't do it. I don't even know what you're talking about. How can you say that in view of this evidence found in your house? Take it away. Your Majesty, you made a horrible mistake. Tom Tom knows nothing about this. He's been with me all day, hasn't he, Monson? That's right, Your Majesty. Why not let the law take its course, Your Majesty? No. No. Watch that until I come back. What does that mean? Exhibit B. That means that the pig sausage is part of the evidence. Doesn't taste like pig sausage to me. What does it taste like? Tastes like pork. 
try it. Well, that's neither pig nor pork. It's beef. Beef? I smell a rat. Barnaby's got a hand in that. I believe that little Elmer is still alive. Come on, we'll find out. You've got to listen to me, Your Majesty. You've got to hear me. Tom Tom knows nothing about this. The little pigs were friends of ours. Why should he want to hurt? The violin and hat were in the house and we got home. He's innocent, I tell you. Innocent. It is with deep regret that I have to enforce the law of our kingdom. Take him away. Oh. I tell you, I'm in. I tell you, I'm in. I didn't steal the pig. I'm in. I tell you, I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. Creature Features is brought to you by CreatureFeatureStore.com, the official merchandiser of Creature Feature accessories. Welcome back to Creature Features. We're watching Babes in Toyland with Tabitha Thomas. So, Tom Tom was banished to Bogeyland. Scary place. You know, I'm used to these horrible films where there's like blood and guts and scary things. And, you know, there's nothing too scary about this. But it looks like they're about to try to become scarier. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. You still think Keanu Reeves is in this film? I'm waiting for him to like appear, but it hasn't yeah. happened yet. I think he's busy doing the next Bill and Ted film. All right. Yes, Tangela. Yeah, she built you a cake and she wants to bring it. Uh, go ahead. Come on. No, she's such a homebody now. That's not a cake. That's a gingerbread house. <laughs> it's she made made it cake like. I mean, you can eat it, right? No, you're baked goods. Gosh. Oh. That looks well, delicious. I think it's a recreation Tantella, of our thank home. Thank you. Wow. That's it looks nice. spooky. That's very good. Put it down so we could get a good shot of this, Tangela. Put it out here, close to the edge. Nice. All right. Well, you can't eat that all in one sitting, right? I'll probably have some help from my ghost friends. So you know, she misses you. I, you know, I don't know if if you two have a visit in the years since you've been gone, but you should have her out to Miami sometime should i'll fly her down yeah. she'll yeah. need a lot of sunscreen she's very she, fair as a flight attendant she gets free flights right and you can go anywhere i don't broadcast that vincent no no <laughs> oh all right well you can go anywhere in the world that you like though right i can yes like what's it like one of the most exotic places you've been well most exotic i'm i'm very boring i'm i have a very hard time with my seance business well i, I wouldn't call boring uh, consulting with haitian witch doctors for cursing techniques okay well that is part of my my business you know going to haiti but i don't do stuff for fun per se so let me see if i get this right you do flight attendant and you're also a psychic consultant yes and you do this all over the world yes so you just get customers in the cities that you're visiting 
I go to the Caribbean, I go to the oh, Virgin Islands, I go to Europe. You know, I have a question about that. I've never been to the Virgin Islands. Are there actually virgins on that island? I suppose there are. Oh. And would one <laughs> use those in sacrifices? I don't think they do that anymore, right. Vincent. All right. And uh, she's about to crown you as the Christmas queen. Oh. That's very nice. Oh. Very good. All right. Well, what do you say we get back to this film, eh? No? Yes. I'm, I'm waiting are... for Keanu Reeves, of course. Let's continue. All right. Off to uh, back to Keanu Reeves in 1934's Babes in Toyland. Hurry back, please. Tom Tom is innocent. We found little Elma in Barnaby's cellar. Let's get it. I'll give 50,000 guineas for the capture of that scoundrel dead or alive. Dead or alive? Dead or alive. Can't you make up your mind which way you want him? Take me to my power. Let's go around the back way. We'll get him. All right, Mr. Barnaby, there's no use hiding. We know where you are. You better come up, because if you don't, we're going to stay right here until you do. Even if it takes all night. Are we going to stay here all night? No. We're going to make him think we are. something to do with this. Oh, if I ever get my hands on him. Come on, we'll find our way out of here. Oh, Tom, Tom, we'll never find our way out of here. Oh, yes, we will. Come on. Thank you. 
Did he come up? Shh, no. Are you coming up? You better come up dead or alive. Now, how can he come up dead when he's alive? Let's drop a rock on him, then, then we'll make him dead when he's alive. Now you're talking sense. Look out! Don't tell him to look out. Well, it might have hit him. That's what I wanted to do. Did it hit you? Not a sound. It must have got him. Go down and bring him up. You go down and bring him up. Do you mean to tell me that you're going to let 50,000 guineas slip right through your fingers? Well, I'm scared. Well, there's nothing to be afraid of. You and he are just like that. Well, that was before we were married. All right. I'll compromise. We'll both go down. That's better. Go ahead. I can see he's not here. Oh, look. Maybe he went through this way. I bet he did. Let's go see. I wonder where he went. We'll soon find out. Let's go that way.
Styling for the show is provided by Restoration Hair in Santa Rosa.
You know, I liked it better when you were here and you were fixing my hair. I don't know what she does to my hair. She th sticks things in my hair and it goes flat. I think she does it on purpose. I don't know. Is that what you do on purpose? She's terrible. She's terrible to me. You know, she's been so misbehaved since you two left. It's insane. All right, so Babes in Toyland. That was the end of Babes in Toyland. And Paul, uh, was it Laurel or Hardy? Which one? Hardy. Hardy. Got all those dots? It is behind. Mm -hmm. But, you know, those scary monsters were defeated, which was nice, right? Yeah? Happy ending. And now Keanu Reeves, like I, I told you. I was really sure that yeah. he was going to show up in the very end. Well, you know, I think there was a different shaggy film. Hair, a different film. That cute little outfit. I like think it was part Hansel of a remake. Gretel. It was part of a remake, a different I version of this film. I was pretty sure, but mm. okay. All right. So um, what's next for you? What are you doing next? I'm going to do a TED Talk. You're going to do an actual TED Talk? Aren't you like slightly frightened to go up on a big stage in front of all those people? Oh, no, of course not. It's just going to be me and Ted. Ted? Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. a one-on-one -on -one interview. All right. He just chose me. How uh, wonderful. I, you, be careful, all right? Just you, Ted. Who, who in God's name is Ted? I don't even want to know. All right. Well, um, that's uh, that's wonderful. How, how about a website? Do you have a website or anything that we can send everybody to? I have webs and I have a site, but I don't have a website. No website for Tabitha. No. All right. So if anybody wants to find out about you, then uh, look you up in like Craigslist or something like that. I suppose. All right. She's sort of a, a word of mouth psychic. You know, from customer to customer. All right. Well, thank you so much for coming and visiting. You know, she's staying with us for a week, so we'll we'll hang out some more. But next time you're in town, you should come see us. Of course. No, no. Our, our audience loves it when we have sidekicks on, and then she likes having you. You know, she was she's been the best behaved she's been, other than thrashing Paul Andrew in the Santa Claus costume. But uh, thank you for spending Christmas with us. And uh, we will see you next time. As far as you guys go, thank you so much for um, spending your December 26th with us. Happy New Year. We'll see you right after New Year's. And we're going to have a different guest, different movie. I don't know who, don't know what, but it'll be Tangela approved. So you know you'll like it, right? Right? Right. See you next time. So, uh, Tabitha, you know, this thing about you inviting Tangela to visit you in Miami sounds wonderful. Can I come as well? Oh, I don't think they'll like you there.